Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk about lifestyle, personal finance, and investment. For many months now, we've been coming out with a handful of investment videos. I've talked about stocks, IPOs, index funds, and also different platforms that you could use. In this video, we're going to be stepping back a little. Now, I've always encouraged you guys to leave your comments so that I could find out more about you guys, know about what you're thinking, and what are the things that you are considering when you are getting into these investments. And with that, what I'm covering would be the three most common questions that I feel like are actually more of misconceptions about investments or my investment videos altogether. Now again, this will be a little basic, but since these are the most common questions, I feel like that there might be something that you might be able to pick up from this video regardless of where you are in your investment journey. So without further ado, let's go. So I wanted to tackle these quite basic but equally valid questions. So these are the three most common questions that I get on this channel. Okay, so number one, do I have to regularly invest in this investment? This question comes up when I'm talking about Gcash and other investment funds. Now let me clarify that I've never talked about any investment in this channel that would require you to put in your money on a regular basis. Now if you happen to get the hang of it and like putting your money into this specific stock or this specific investment fund, then by all means, you can put your money there as often as you'd like. But really, everything I've talked about so far would be really just a one-off, one-time investment. I mean, there's nothing about these investments that would require you to do this regularly. Case in point, I talk about Gcash that you could invest for as little as 50 pesos or in GoTrade, you can invest as little as $1. So if you really just have 50 pesos, then that amount that you put in is already enough. Of course, you probably might not get great returns with such small investments. But if you just wanted to try it, then these investments could just be a one-time thing. Of course, there's merit to keeping your investments to investing regularly, but these funds really do not require anything else from you other than that one-time investment. Just as a side note, I've been trying to think of this, why people think that you need to regularly invest. I think that there's a misconception about these funds and those that are being offered by insurance agents. So insurance agents are talking about these same investments and you would end up with the same investment funds and also insurance on top of that. So I think that that might be the misconception. So let me clarify, in as much as there may be same jargon, investment funds, equity funds, and bond funds that you may hear of, what I've shared with you so far would be one-time investments. There is no commitment to having to do this on any regular basis. Moving on to number two, the second common question that I get on this channel is that, should I move this investment? So I get a little scared when I get this comment when people say, I'm going to be moving my funds. I know that I've talked about different investment platforms. I've talked about GoTrade and eToro. People have said, you're right. I'm going to be moving my funds from eToro to GoTrade. Or people have also said, I'm getting out of Atram and putting them into BPI. Why does this scare me? Well, in my videos, I've never really advocated moving your funds from one channel to another. I mean, I've talked about better features, perhaps better bottom lines in terms of broker commissions or service fees, but my investment videos have always been made only having in mind your options as a new investment. So I've never really talked about having to move your investment, even though I may be leaning towards one investment platform or one index fund. I'm not really advocating your having to move your funds because moving your investment from one to another really would be a case-to-case -case basis. One person's investment portfolio in terms of returns or losses may greatly differ. When you actually say that you want to move your entire investment from here to here, that's something that you have to proceed with carefully. I mean, even if I'm advocating go trade and see it as the cheaper investment, I actually haven't moved my eToro investment. I continue to use both. Why? Well, I've tried to work this out in my head. And let's say you invested in Tesla last year and you have gains in Tesla right now. When you exit your investment position in Tesla, in eToro, and move it to GoTrade, you'd be actually missing out your gains and buying the stock at a higher price. And on the reverse side of this, let's say you bought Google stock last year 
and that Google stock is currently losing. So if you move your stock from eToro to GoTrade, then you're actually locking in your losses. Buying into a lower price is good, but again, you've actually sealed in your faith. You've locked in your losses. So for me, actually won't touch those investments that I've already made. Like they say, time in the market beats timing the market, even though this other platform or this other index fund is performing better. That move can actually cost you. No need to move funds for the sake of just moving it to a better place. Once you've taken on a position, how it actually behaves would be different on a case-to-case -case basis and it would be really up to you to assess is it the right time to exit this investment or should you still hang on? And lastly, perhaps this is the most common question, what is the best investment? Now, this is the simplest question, but also the most complicated to answer because the truth is there's no best investment. I can't decide that for you in as much as I can't even decide that for myself. As mentioned earlier, each investment would actually be different. We all have different means. We have different investment goals. So really for me to answer what would be the best investment is an impossible question to answer. It really depends on what you're looking at. So really the best investment would be a mix of your goals and what type of risks that you're willing to take. How much of the money do you need back right away? How much money can you really forget about for months, years, or even decades? Because each of us are coming from a unique situation. So there's no such thing as what's best for me will also be 100% good for you. That's the other thing. When I talk about these investments, I'm actually speaking about them from a subjective level. I'm talking about how I see it and what I would do. So when people ask me, should they get into this or that investment? Like I always say, I'm not a financial professional. I'm not in a position to be telling you exactly what to do. Again, really assess where you are and what you want to get out of your investment. If you don't know that yet, then maybe you also have to ask yourself that question Everything I've shared is really based on my own perspective. If you would like to align your strategies to my own, then please do it with a grain of salt. Understanding also that what might work for me may not necessarily work for you. Okay, so that's about it. I hope I've been able to clarify a few of these things. Again, these are a little basic. As with anything else in life, the basics, the fundamentals are really what is able to really guide you through. I really wanted to do this video just for us to have a better perspective in our investments and also watching not only my videos but also other YouTubers who are covering finance and investments. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and happy investing!